apologize for that. Anyway, this is Brad with Spite Fitness. I'm uh, doing a totally different change of pace here. I've been invited out to train true in Seoul, so I'm gonna go out there with a buddy of mine. We're gonna go, gonna hang out, see what the day brings. Uh, the folks that train through, I think are doing kind of a mock meet, so we're gonna go out there and hang out, should be good. Um, see what that leads, and then um, kind of maybe pop around Seoul and do some other stuff too, so. Very wild, adventurous day that is not the norm for me. Um, so, kind of dragging ass. I'm actually kind of behind the curve. I should have been out the door already, but is what it is. All right, here we go. They're insane. We found a cab. So this is my travel partner. This is Casey. Casey's my friend. Secret straight trainer. <laughs> he's my, he's my coach. <laughs> he got me where I am today. <laughs> Uh, nah, just, just, just a buddy of mine that I work with and we get along pretty good so he wanted to pop up to Seoul with me and hang out and then we got some other stuff maybe we get looking at doing. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I think the first step is just getting out of the damn house. Because we both like left to our own devices, we're hiding in our rooms like all day. Mm -hmm. All day. Mm -hmm. Not even a, like not even a second thought, right? It's true. It's true. All day. All day. Anyway, so yeah, I just want to quick introduce my buddy because you're going to see him for the duration of the, uh, of the video. And uh, yeah, we're just kind of enjoy this cab ride. All right, so we're at GJ Station. I've never been here, so this is all new to me. Apparently, we're going to take the bullet train, which I've never taken either. So that'll be new for us as well, won't it? We will enjoy this experience together. It'll be crazy. So anyway, so yeah, we're uh, going to do this thing. We're adventuring. We're adventuring together. This is adventuring. We're adventuring together. The new experiences abound. And then we're gonna pick things up. And put them down. Right. Are you picking things up? I'm not picking things up. Are you just gonna point at things and ask if I can pick them up? I think so. <laughs> around with can you can you pick this up? Well my wife and I were discussing it today. She was like, well, can he lift you up? I was like, he could lift probably three of me. <laughs> I said, maybe today while I'm up there, I'll have him bench press me. Yeah. We're up there. Just lay in my arms. Yeah, I'll make a video of it. I said the bigger issue is whether or not I can maintain the course <laughs> to, just, to, like to not move. Yeah, to like not move. Comment below. They said I'm pretty you fat. You think I'm gonna bench Casey? I'm pretty fat. So See. Like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're out waiting for the train. The train's about to pull up. See that bad boy coming? It's kind of interesting. One of them just blew by here. These fuckers are hauling. So you'll get to see a bullet train. I've never seen a bullet train. This is a bullet train. Kind of excited actually. Oh boy. See you when we get on it. All right. So, made it on the bullet train. He got his seats. It's true. Because he's living the high life. He's proactive and he bought tickets early. He's living the high life, man. Yeah. How much these tickets cost? Hmm? What's these tickets cost? Mm -hmm. 13 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. 13. Two tickets. 13 bucks. Yeah. Make it to Seoul in 20 minutes. So watch the, if you watch the screen up there. Go to the screen up there. Yeah. It should go through and give you the speed here. I don't like the lower right hand corner. Or this one up here too. Did the last time they like it. Bullet train my ass. This thing's going slow. <laughs> I thought it was just all yeah. go. It's like the space shuttle when you put on the ground. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, I thought like no floor play. But we're gonna get there. Get there eventually. We're gonna get there anyway. Hey, it's not it's not the it's the most of the ocean, man. I feel like I feel like out of like Ocean's Eleven, you know? Mm -hmm. just, just waiting, sweetheart. Just, just waiting. Just waiting. It's on you. Just waiting, just waiting for you. Waiting, sweetheart, just waiting. Waiting for you. Which direction we are going? Yeah. The trippiest scene in Wonka. Oh yeah. Because it's dark. 
we're in a tunnel. Well, I remember I had a conversation with my dad. We were discussing the Pennsylvania house, and, uh, the renovations going on for it. And I was, I was telling him, I was like, we're going to build, I want to put the, the wonka vader the on the side. He's like, it's only a two-story house. I said, yeah, but the wonka vader can go anywhere. It's not limited to it. can go anywhere. Yeah, he kept like he was like right in the middle of doing something, so it was like really entertaining the conversation. And like I remember going through it, and he was like, "Yeah, but we can't build the Wonka Vader. It doesn't work like that." And I was like, "It could totally work like that." And then like he stopped what he was doing. And he was like, "Shut up, you stupid. And go back to whatever." Like, yeah, we were like five minutes into the conversation, and he was like, "We're talking about the fucking Wonka Vader. Go back to fucking work." And I was like, "All right, fine, fine." No. <laughs> this happened last week. <laughs> That's how a lot of conversations with my wife go. Yeah. It's like, you sound like a child. Yeah. I'm like, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> so, I can't show you, like, how fast we're moving other than, like, the lights blowing by. So, that probably doesn't give you much of an idea. But up here, there's a TV screen. So, see the TV screen? And I don't expect that you can see it on the TV screen. But we're going 281 kilometers per hour right now. Which I think is pretty fast. It's pretty fast. It may not have been faster. 283. 283? We're going all the way. I don't think I've ever seen it. That's great. Anyway, so yeah, I'm about 280 kilometers per hour. Sweet. It's an interesting statue. Yeah, so we're uh, up out of the um, up out of the station, trying to get our, ourselves oriented to where we're going. That's a neat statue. Yeah, so we're just trying to figure out where we're going. Shouldn't be too much. I think we're gonna get a cab and go from there. Cool. All right, so we made it. It was an interesting cab ride. I uh, nearly lost my patience with the cab driver, but. We got okay, so it was a good dude who took care of us. And we're back to train true. So, here we go, you ready? Yeah. Go inside, check this out. So I just wanted to make sure this thing was on. Brad has relinquished control of the camera and has handed it over to me to go through and record B-roll. Now from what I'm told, this place is called a, and I'm quoting a gym, which I confused with a bar. Just to give you guys an idea what you're looking at here. People were paying for it. They'll pay to come in and do this. It's crazy. I know. I never guessed anything like this would ever happen ever. So we can discuss a little strategy. Strategy. So, so you're gonna pick it up. Bomb everybody. You're gonna pick it up. Oh yeah. And you're gonna put it down. Down. That's what the goal is. Right where it came. From. I know. Where people a lot of time have trouble with is that it goes up. And then doesn't, it doesn't come back down though. Yeah. Or maybe or it goes, goes down, to the side. Down, but not. You know, my mistake came from the side. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, let's go. I'ma make a couple stacks, do exactly what I want to. Mix a couple tracks, get a lady that I'm drawn to. Turn up to the max, get me faded till I'm gone, dude. I do what I want, couldn't stop me if you wanted to. I just work hard, yeah, harder than the rest. Some people say I'm lucky, others saying that I'm blessed. But I keep my head down, cause I crave progress. You ain't never gonna stop me, cause it's my conquest. And I'm never gonna rest, yeah. Y'all don't know that I'm a soldier I always felt like I'm a loner 
when everybody thinks they know ya. Yeah. And y'all don't even know I y'all ya. Yeah. And now I'm ready taking over. Cause every day I'm getting closer. Just look at everything I'll show ya. And now I'm ready, I'm a blow up. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not the type to take no for an answer. I don't deal with people that are like a cancer. No, instead I hang with the people that enhance it. And I'm not the type to get a second chance. That's it. Pay the money. More. Give me more. Go left. Go right. There you go. It's good money. That's it. That's perfect. That's all right. That's what daddy pays the big money for. Someone's getting the tips. That's it. Yeah. Let's make you love me. Yeah. I get it's like this you have that how do I get to that I have here how do I get to that now Walking around getting to know people. Tell us your name. Uh, my name is Fiona. Yeah. I'm an Oli lifter. Oli lifter? Yes. So that's uh, Snatch? Yeah, and that the was clean? Yeah, clean and jerk. Clean and jerk. I know Oli. Yeah, so Oli. What, what did you hit? Uh, today? Yep. Uh, I did like, what was that? Like, you tried 50. 48. You tried 51, right? It was the last one. Yeah, yeah. And you hit 48? Yeah. I just like failed the third attempt. Yeah, you just lost your balance. Yeah. But you got the weight easy. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been training? Uh, it's been uh, like three years, but I'm like uh, eight months ago, I got uh, injured. So I just like came back to all the lifting scene like only in three weeks or something like that. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Do you have any meets, any, like any big meets or anything coming up in the future? Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the only next year. Okay. 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 And I'm gonna get her get Instagram. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna get her Instagram, and I'll link in the, in the description box below. Check her out. Say hi. Cool. Peace. There he goes. This is my this is my friend Sanson. Give him a say hang out. All right. Came up from Pyongyang to come hang out and enjoy the gym. So you're gonna compete with her, right? Right. What are you hoping with? Cool. Trying to hit 225 on the bench press. Pounds? Yeah, pounds. 225 pounds. pounds. Yeah? yeah. Will that be a PR? Yeah, it's gonna be my new PR. Hell I yeah. Good yeah. thing you get hit. Think you get hit? I can get hit. I think you get shot. Yeah.
All right. Hanging out with the biggest squatter so far of the meet. <laughs> Can you tell us your name? Keenan. Keenan. Yep. And uh, where are you from? Uh, Michigan. From Fuck yeah, dude. Really? From Michigan. Where? where? I was born and raised in Brighton. Uh, Outside of Detroit. That... Yeah, yeah. I went to school in... 96 and 23? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm from Kalamazoo. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> but I, I spent some time in the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> Only thing... Huh? Where they put in the water? Mostly just alcohol. All right. <laughs> yeah. Right on, cool. So, what did you end up hitting today on the, on the squat? Uh, 295 kg, so 6, 650 pounds. 650? Yeah. 650. Is that a PR? Uh, no, I hit it once before, but I injured my knee, so this is the first time hitting it since. Yeah, right? Coming back, coming back from injuries is a serious business, right? Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. How bad, like, what did you end up doing on the knee? Was it just uh, like a little... It's a overuse, like quadriceps, tendonitis, something like that. So. Okay, right on. Uh, yeah, it's been bugging me for like six months, but... So feeling a good. bit better now, so glad that I hit that squat too. Oh yeah. yeah. What's that? that is that is that the heaviest that you've gone period, or do you? Yeah, yeah. Any more. Yeah. Uh, now I feel like I got more in me. Yeah. That was probably like a RP like nine nine point five, so I feel like I can hit you know six sixty pretty soon. You look like you had more in you. Yeah. 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 Right and so do you uh, do you actually compete? Yeah, I'm uh, gonna be in Raw Nationals this year. So. Oh shit. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, in the 105 class, I'm gonna get my ass whooped, but hey, it's a good experience. 105 class? Yeah, 105 kg. So with like Bryce Lewis and holy shit, Garrett Blevin, yeah, people like that. So, right on. That's yeah. awesome, man. That's cool. Cool. And so, uh, from Michigan, mm -hmm. what are you doing here now? Uh, I'm teaching. Yeah. Yeah, I'm an SAT like academy instructor type of thing. So Fuck yeah. I teach high school kids. That's cool. To prepare for the SAT. Cool. Yeah. And how, so are you here like? Are you going to end up being here permanently or are you going to end up no, going back to the States? I'm, I'm here until the end of July and then going back to the States to prepare and then, yeah, it's the Nationals in October, so. Hell yeah. yeah. So do you have uh, do you have Instagram and all that stuff? I do. Okay. I have like three posts though, so let's see. Uh, so where, where are you most active on social media? Where do people find you? <laughs> Absolutely nowhere. But nowhere. Instagram, I'll get started on that. All right, I just cool. need a better phone. So I'm going to, I'll get you before I leave here. I'll get his Instagram, I'll link it in the description box below. Hook him up with a follow, check him out. And uh, as you get ready to go to, you said nationals, right? Yep. As you get ready to go to nationals, drop in, say hi, put my boy up with follow. All right, thanks. All right, guys. Make me pretty for the internet. Dab, dab, dab. <laughs> <laughs>
smacked me in the ear. So, what's your name? Sunny. And where are you from? Korea. Yeah? Yeah. How old are you? Um, I'm 19. Okay. And how long have you been lifting? Um, maybe three years. And how are you doing today? Um, not well, because I'm tired. Right? It's yeah. hard. Um, I didn't sleep today, and yeah. But, um, are you, like, where are you at in terms of, like, one rep max? Are you, like, close? You're, like, hitting PRs? No. You're way off, you're way off today. It's not even down to the side of the here. Yeah? So you got more in you? Not today. Not today? Not today. Hey, so that's something to remember. Not every day is a good day. Right. But, but you keep working, right? Yeah, sure. Right? Motivated shit. Holy shit. Look at those quads! Let's go. Look at these fucking yeah. quads. I bought these baby last year. Legs! <laughs> Let's go! What's your name? Ricky. Ricky? Yeah, that's nice man. Where are you from? Uh, DC. DC? Yeah, buddy. What are you doing out here? Dude, it's Korea, man. We're, we're like literally doing everything here, right? It's Korea and I belong here as well. <laughs> Absolutely, 100%, man. <laughs> I'll be here for two months, so, you know, might as well make, make my time here. From Great. DC? Yeah, what federation you train or you you uh, compete in? USAPL. USAPL. Okay, yeah, right on. You too, right? Yeah. Well, I'm USPA. Okay. Because like I got going on it kind of after a long hiatus. Yeah. And that yeah. was like the first meet back, so I was like, well, uh -huh. eh, whatever. No, for like the first like six years of powerlifting, I was the USPA. Yeah. And then just this year, I switched to USAPL. I'm not personally a fan of USPL because they're kind of bougie. Oh no no! Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna say I love it. Right? Uh, I still love uh, USPA boy at heart. Yeah. Boys, yeah. But, uh, yeah. I mean, like, when it comes to competition for drug tested, I feel like it's, I, I have to go here. Yeah. Um, so, let's Hell yeah. That's awesome. So, uh, IG, other social media? At Pug the Goat. Okay. And I just started YouTube, um, but you'll find it on my Instagram. So, go to Instagram. That's too easy. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to all the people that I've talked to. Uh -huh. I'm going to get, like, names, Instagram, YouTubes. Oh, yeah. It'll be all in the description box below. Check it out. Give him a follow. That's the man. All right, I appreciate you, man. Give him a follow. Give him a follow. Follow. Yeah, Look at these yeah. quads. Look yeah. at these quads. Yeah. Gotta do it. <laughs>
I'm his strength coach, uh, Branson Billabong. And this is his uh, manager, Hubert, Hubert Cumberdale. Uh, yeah. That's pretty solid. I mean, you, you gotta feel bad. Me? Do I feel bad? Oh, yeah. You can kind of feel like, a little bit bad. Little. So I know. You know. Well, this is this fuck around time. Yeah. This is definitely fuck around time. Yeah. There's a lot. I can imagine the hurt feelings of like people working, working like six months out of the year, and then he just yeah. shows up and does exactly what it was. Like, it'd be like, I'd be like, you know what? I've been doing this for the last year. Mm -hmm. I feel like I feel like uh, I'm showing good progress. I'm showing sure good progress. Feeling really good about myself. Yeah. And then that guy shows I, I, up and just like destroys you, and you're like, yeah, yeah. All right, well, fuck my life, I guess. <laughs> Well, I guess you could look at it two ways. You could have the, the fuck my life type of way, or you could be, you like, could be, like, be like, oh, oh you I can know get what? there. I mean, I Maybe could, I can get there. I could be like him. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. You could. I'm sorry. I think I would go the other mm -hmm. way. Like, oh, fuck my life. I mean. You better do the same and climb Are you just a regret? Are you always upset? Do you need to reset? Figure out what's up next Trust me, take a deep breath Everything you'll forget This is not a real threat to every doubt in your head put a big one Go help out your fucking self. Take control, they get like, don't need no one else. Oh, yeah. It's about time that we all get help. No, 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 it's fine. Like it's fine. 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 It's I'm sick of never Respect feeling it, quiet. Let's go. Oh, I'm gonna make a change hey, no. this time. Oh, you better do oh. the same. Are you just a regret? Are you always upset? I'm always playing fun to race and figure out what's. Hey, dude. I just want more than you. Let's go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 You know, it's a really good time for, for product placement right now. Brad, I've, during my time here at the True and Train, during the last six hours, I've covertly signed you up for numerous endorsements. Yeah, 700 pounds. Is that 700? Just 700 even? Yeah, well, 699.9. Nine, yeah, so 700 pounds. Okay, so 700 pounds. But you're now endorsed by uh, Pakistani Yak Milk. <laughs> from the Mustafa family, uh, appreciates it. I collected it at my regular 90% fee. Uh, you know, all you have to do is make sure that whenever you go to publish this to YouTube, you say that you you love Mustafa Yak Milk uh, at the beginning and at the end of the videos. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, wow. that was a close one. You know, maybe that's my issue with uh, maybe that's my issue with going to the gym. Nobody ever claps whenever I go to the gym. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'd be pretty pumped if a girl would clap. That's true. Though. If I completed my 10 mile bike ride on yeah. the on the bike and everybody was like, man, I was like, oh, you did it. Fuck yeah! Like hell of a ride, oh. fatty. Like glad you completed that. Take your time. You boy. Oh!
<laughs> Fuck yes. Yeah. The train crew, we're fucking doing this, and you're watching. <laughs> oh, yeah. Parting words of wisdom. Oh wait, this might actually be worth recording, hang on. So we're gonna talk about what you just did. So you tried to do a 225. <laughs> How'd that go over here? It was heavy. But then we, we, we talked a little bit about some form and some mechanics, right? Yeah. What was the big thing we talked about? What was the big thing we talked about? What was the the main cue? My hips. Where do you want where do we want your hips? Uh, Under the shoulders? Under the shoulders. And then, and then what happened? It was easy. So you did it? Yes, I did. <laughs> All right, so I, I'm sorry I didn't catch my camera. I was too worried about coaching. But I saw the lift and I knew the strength was there. So we went through a little bit of, a little bit of queuing and we fixed it. Right, so we went from missing 225 to smoking 225. Missing knuckles. Boom. Boom. So, right, it's good. Yes, yeah, good. A little bit of form. Goes a long way. Pretty excited about that. Very proud. Thank you. You're welcome. Very proud. Yep. Congratulations. Is that a new PR? No. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're uh, we're hanging out. I'm with my man Jamie and he's one of the guys that kind of organized what, what we did today. And so I want to kind of end the video and I want to give him an opportunity to talk about why we did what we did and kind of what it meant and uh, and what we were hoping to achieve and so that you can kind of understand like the idea behind it and so yeah so why did we do what we did today um, well originally there was supposed to be an IPF Korea meet that was scheduled for the same day around the same time but unfortunately got cancelled um, the reason given was that there weren't wasn't enough uh, athletes willing to participate so um, I thought this would be a really great uh, time to give a little bit of exposure to powerlifting, so I contacted Dan, the owner of Train True, and I asked Dan, maybe we could do a friendly um, kind of mock meet, right? And um, invite some lifters from around Korea and other lifters that are, you know, in Korea to compete in the meet. Like me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I knew that um, I knew that my program was wrapping up around the same time as this meet was so you know i knew that i had to get some some big lifters and i said well who's the who's the biggest lifter that i know and i said oh it's brad so i shot out brad and i said hey brad do you want to come uh do this thing where you know we'll we're all, we're all gonna try to pr kind of like a mock meet and he goes just, i'll be there you know, just tell me when um <laughs> but the overall goal of this of this meet i think was to kind of bring exposure not only to train true but to uh the powerlifting community in korea as a whole, um, I think that in Korea there is powerlifting, but it's not widely known. Um, 
I started powerlifting and I started posting on all of my different social media to show that there's a community in Korea that's supportive, um, where you can come together and train uh, without feeling judged. I don't know, it's kind of like a, a safe space, I guess. Um, um, I don't know, today I, I met a lot of lifters and I saw a lot of lifters competing for the first time. Um, I don't know, which I thought is kind of inspiring. And just being able to like build a community of lifters that will support each other was kind of important to me. So, I don't know, I reached out to Brad and some other lifters and we put on a really great trip today. So I'm actually very proud of everything. I can't take all the credit uh, for setting up this meet because, to be honest, uh, I asked I asked Dan, right? And then Dan, Dan was the real one who put everything in motion. It's just me. It was just a little idea I had, just to have uh, some guys it's been fun. Every uh, every good idea's got to have a muse, right? So you're Maybe, kind but, of a muse uh, <laughs> by what happened today. But so like one of the things that I kind of wanna I wanna highlight with that is. Um, you know, is the community. So, you know, Jamie had an idea and he executed it. And it doesn't matter if you're in Seoul, it doesn't matter if you're in Houston, Texas, or, you know, wherever. Like, it doesn't matter where you are, you can build that community. And all you need to do is be able to reach out to people around you and start to find people that have even just similar interests and start to bring them into you and bring them into the community and kind of build that network. It might be slow. It might be fast, but like, you know, you had this idea, you had this concept, and there was there was a letdown, there was something that you guys were anticipating, and it fell through, and then you made your, you made your own thing. Yeah, you make, uh, what is it, you make lemonade out of yeah, lemons, is that yeah. the expression? If God gives you lemons, you find a new God. <laughs> okay, you say, you say fuck <laughs> you just, you just find a new God. But so, so Jamie did the best that he could, he, he coordinated, organized with a whole bunch of people, to, to do something today and we all had a lot of fun yeah. we all met new people all made new friends mm -hmm. and it was just it was amazing and so I, I kind of want to just have that be the last thing that you see here as we close out this video about what it was that we did why we did what we did and you know what we accomplished and to let you know that no matter where you are or what you're doing or what kind of circumstances that you're in you could do the same thing now you may not be able to find you know 15 lifters or whatever it was it might be three, it might be four, or whatever. It might be 50, but you make your own reality, and by being uh, goal-oriented and driving toward the things that you want, you're gonna bring other people along board too. So I just hope that you guys see what he did, and the, and the drive, the motivation that he had, and that you apply that to your own life, either in lifting or in whatever, else, or whatever other endeavors that you guys have. Um, it's a really inspiring thing. Really grateful to be a part of it. Thank you so much for inviting Thank me. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much for inviting me to be allowed me to be there and just kind of and play and just kind of have fun. I enjoyed it thoroughly. So, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave in the chat box below. I'll be sure to respond. You guys can help me out with like, shares, and subscribes. If you checked out like two or three videos, what should they do, Jamie? Uh, they should like and subscribe and leave a comment in the yeah. box below, please. Yeah, comment. And subscribe. We're trying to get to 5,000, and I need your help. All right, guys. Remember, no matter what it is you think you can't do, like organize your own powerlifting meet and create a community around you. You got to get in your train to spite. You're either going to find an excuse or you're going to find a way. And I hope you guys continue to find the way. Thank you for watching. Appreciate you guys. Bye. Get baby to it.